when we look at uh, the approach of conventional medicine on cancer, um, the focus is, is to kill or remove the cell, the cancer cell. What do you think is wrong with that approach? Well, inherently, I don't think there's anything wrong with that approach. I mean, you want that cancer cell to die, right? So mm -hmm. chemotherapy, so normally a cell is going to go through death in a, in a couple different ways. Normal cells will die through a natural process called apoptosis. And that's what most alternative cancer approaches are really doing. They're stimulating apoptosis. Chemotherapy stimulates lysis, which is a pathological death of the cell, which is good. We still want the cell to die, right? So if we use a, a chemotherapy drug, it will help cause lysis of the cell. The problem is it's not going to be specific to only cancer cells, and it could cause lysis of all sorts of cells, and that's why we get sick. So, you know, as the big picture, we want the cancer to die. We just want to ultimately figure out why it's not dying, and if we can work at that, it just makes more sense. So if you take out the cell, a lot of times you haven't taken care of the underlying cause, and that still might be there, which could lead to problems down the road, correct? Which could lead to, you know, the Re cancer starts with one cell, mm -hmm. something happening, and it starts replicating, right? Then it's reproducing cells that are just like that, that are reproducing. That's what cancer is. Mm -hmm. So if you don't ultimately figure out what was that cause, um, could that person get another cancer down the road? Yes, they can. So and it would certainly help. Is it absolutely necessary to find out the cause and to solve that? No, it's, it's not. It's, it just, it could, it's just another piece that could be helpful to get a person better.